<clears throat> right, everyone. After a bit of toing and froing, getting the camera right, um, I got another video for you. This time, unboxing. Except it's a bit of a big box. Um, these two come courtesy of John Hatton at BSA, top bloke. Um, if you look through my uh, previous videos, you'll see one from the uh, British Shooting Show in February. Uh, it's not even three minutes long, 6,000 views already, uh, and it's John giving us a very quick uh, rundown, a quick preview of the new Gamma Boxer. So it's a British made um, rifle with Gamma supplied uh, wooden stock, and uh, it's in here. Well, it's in here, and this, very kindly, is a BSA scope that John has supplied to go with it. So, let's get to some unboxing. Right, uh, I'll see if I can, uh, with the magic of the editing software, uh, which I haven't really mastered yet, pardon me, I'll see if I can speed that up and actually include it in the video, in a little whirlwind Benny Hill style, we'll see. Uh, but uh, we have a scope, and I don't even know what scope this is, it's an Essential uh, MD 3 to 9 by 50 WR. Excellent. BSA quality assured. I'm afraid I'm going to have to break the seals. Um, I might have suggested to John um, when I was sort of uh, suggesting, uh, well, Occasionally, politely reminding him that, uh, asking him if there was a, a boxer available, I might have suggested that um, if he had a BSA branded scope he'd like me to review this with, then I would happily do so. Otherwise, I had various other scopes um, in my possession. Ah, so silica gel, a cleaning cloth, and an Allen key. I shall put all that away for the time being. We also have just the one Allen key. Um, we also have BSA rifle scope instructions. Um, so, um, the scope has slightly raised turrets and brass in fact it seems um, windage and elevation adjustment caps they're marked clearly marked up and down quite fine print and it's marked quarter inch at 100 yards so I'll give you a quick view of those so you have an idea what you're looking at Nice one piece mount, 3 to 9 by 50, and we have a clear scope cap protector at the front and an amber tinted one at the back. Right then, well, this is as live as videos get because I haven't opened this yet. Oh, just for your, inf for your information, the overall case is 92 centimeters, uh, just over, well, it's 36 and a half inches by 36 centimeters, 14 inches. 
by about 12 centimeters just under five inches um, the whole case albeit without a scope obviously the whole case weighs just over seven kilos uh, nearly nearly 16 pounds <laughs> Fantastic. So we have a filler probe kit um, and a big pack of silica gel, some spacers to prevent it sliding around in transit, front and back, a meaty manual, and we have a protector over the honey dropper esque bolt handle. Um, so that is a very nice, very attractive looking bulb up. Um, that's that's nice and light. It's pretty handy. Um, we have stippling on the fore end, um, stippling on the two panels on the side of the grip. The grip is very ergonomic. I'll see if I can show you this. The grip is very ergonomic. There's no flat bottom, no sharp edges. Uh, we have three fixings holding on the wooden cheek piece, and, and there's one magazine inside. And let's see, made in UK, boxer, max fill pressure 232 bar. 3365 PSI, caliber 4.5 millimeters, and the serial number. And we've got a safe and fire, and it's slightly stiff, but a safety catch, safe and fire. It is slightly stiff, but it is silent with no loud clicking with this one. Brilliant. I will be, as part of my review, I'll keep things as thorough as possible, and I will be measuring for the spring balance. The cocking effort on the bolt and I'll be measuring of course the trigger pull with a um, alignment I think it is um, spring gauge um, so we have a two-thirds of the barrel is shrouded and apparently if you watch the other video John was saying that the, the actual barrel ends about here just short an inch or two short of the muzzle the end cap is not removable and we have a manometer pressure gauge on the end. Which... And before I forget, put the trusty scales in. The three to nine by fifty scope, including the scope caps, is exactly seven hundred grams. via the miracles of uh, modern technology, i.e. a trusty luggage scales. The boxer on its own, unscoped, is just over three and a half kilos. It's basically eight pounds unscoped. And just to completeness, the rifle itself is 74 and a half centimeters or 29 and a half inches long. And it is Twenty-one, just over twenty-one centimeters deep, or 
about eight and a half inches deep. Nice dark bit of wood, especially on the front of the uh, pistol grip here. Very nice. That's nicely contoured as well. Um, and uh, it's a connecting piece. I can't, you can't use a thumb up grip with a, with a bulk up normally. Um, not unless you shoot like so. Um, but that's, that's reasonably present, pleasant. I have big hands and I sometimes have a problem with um, bulk up stocks when, um, or th thumb holes at all when um, I can't get the wave of my hand in here but that's 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 not bad that feels pretty good um but the reach to the trigger is very nice so i'll see if i can show you a bit more of this stock close up you can see the ergonomics on the bottom of the pistol grip the connecting piece there and uh, it's all very nicely sculpted um and uh, yeah very nice The collar at the front, the collar at the front is plastic and, pardon me, uh, right, the razor rail for the dovetail razor rail, which all, all ball pups have, is cold, That's, that feels like alloy. Um, the barrel and obviously the cylinder, pressure cylinder, will be steel. Um, the connecting pieces of the, the razor rail, I'm not 100% sure whether they're polymer or, or alloy. They're not, cold to, they're not very cold to the touch, slightly cold. Um, but they are slightly colder than the plastic magazine. Um, Ah, plastic, right, plastic collar. Uh, feels a bit like this plastic moulding on the outside of a champagne bottle cork, uh, but not that I drink. But that pulls off to reveal the hole in the brass forend for the uh, fill probe. And uh, it pushes back on nicely. Um, right. And looking at this, yeah, it looks as though I will be able to get the scope on and then uh, still successfully get the um, um, the boxer, the scoped up boxer, back in the case to transit to the club tomorrow. That's ideal. Uh, so it's quite a deep case. <laughs> So, as a left-hander, Bill, what do you reckon to the Gamo Boxer? It's just, the bolt's just a bit too close to the face. <laughs> but if it was dedicated left-hand bolt, you'd be happy? Yeah, it feels really nice to hold. Excellent. Yeah, feels nice. Cool. That's quite loud, isn't it, for, for pest control? It's a strange scope this, the, the focus is a bit off in the centre, but if I come just get the heat of crosshairs. Why don't you just kind of stop it, put it up and start shooting oh, 25. I don't like this scope. It's alright mate. Yeah. It feels quite fast. Oh, I'll try that one if you don't mind. I'm just recording you by doing this, so I'll edit out the f f f's and the blinds. Have you tried these? Um, it's not liking them. Well, well maybe she needs a clean in that. Uh, I've got a few clean in. You've cleaned it? Well, oh, it's 16 yards, now you take it to 25. So You've got a novel cocking action on that anyway, Brian, I'll give you that much. Right. It's not too loud. Is this way, thumb at the back, bolt up, and you feel it come out. Click and then just push forward. So the giveaway that's, is when you. That's the best way I've seen so far. The giveaway is when you feel the bolt touch your thumb. Then, then you know it's all the way back yeah, and cocked. And it doesn't move forward until it's yeah. forced. Yeah, yeah. So then it, it loses the spring tension. Right, look. See the hole there. Yep. Yeah. Right, straight in. 
You feel it, push it in like that. You're always yeah. going to have to come out out of the aim, unfortunately, with this. I'm going to try. I'm going to try doing it. No, it can't be. Well, it can. It can, but it's uncomfortable. Right, it's not easy to cock it in the aim then. Well, it's if you move your head to the side. But, it, but it's very accurate. This is accurate. This is accurate. Right. That. I think would be quite quite a good weapon once you get used to it, especially if this was a bit. That trigger has definitely, definitely got to be sorted. Um, but I think that's a case of adjustment because at the moment it's like fighting the spring. Yeah, no. it's got a lot of travel, hasn't it? Uh, there is a yeah, but that's on this. That can be adjusted. On, I am sure it can be adjusted to make it as you want it. I mean, VSA aren't newcomers to this game. Thanks, thanks very much, Chris. <laughs>